Escape from the Fire, a fantasy adventure by Richard Brown, series editor Louis Fitch. You can find the next chapters of this book in the videos on our channel. London's Burning London's Burning, London's Burning Pet the engine, pet the engines Fire, 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 fire Pour on water, pour on water Chapter 3 The Adventure Begins Robert took the time trial phone and put in the date and the place. 1st September 1666 London Then the password Adventure He pressed the green button. Everything went dark. There was a sound like the wind rushing. Then Robert was no longer in Grandad's study. He was standing in Thames Street, London in 1666. The houses looked very different. The people wore different clothes. One on the right of the dark lane, going to the river Thames, Robert could see a bridge with houses and shops on it. Crowds of people were walking over it. Other people were in carts or on horses. On the left was another lane where tall houses leaned close to one another. The lane was too narrow for carts. The air was hot and dusty. The street was full of dirt and rubbish. Clouds of dust rose from the wheel of the cart and there was strong smell in the air. Suddenly, a cart came towards Robert. It was going very fast. Robert jumped out of its way just in time. He bumped into a man who was selling water. The man was angry and shouted at him. Then Robert heard a woman calling, Hey you boy! Robert turned and saw a rich lady wearing a beautiful dress. She leaned out of the window of her chair and looked at Robert. She held a bag of sweet-smelling herbs. What extraordinary clothes you are wearing, the lady said. Come closer, let me see. Come closer, let me look at you. Robert wore jeans, a t-shirt, and trainers. Other people stopped and looked at him, too. He didn't like this. He had to find Lucy and bring her home quickly. Excuse me, he said to the rich lady. Could you tell me where Pudding Lane is? She did not answer straight away. She said, How strange you look. You are so clean. It's most extraordinary. Where do you come from, boy? I come from London. And why are you wearing those strange clothes? I'm looking for my cousin Lucy. Can you tell me where Pudding Lane is? It's just over there, said the lady. She pointed with her fan. Thank you, said Robert. He ran quickly to escape from all the people who were staring at him. He ran down Them Street and into Pudding Lane. It was dark and narrow. He could not see Lucy anywhere. He shouted her, her name. He woke up the lane and stopped outside a baker's shop. This must be where the great fire begins, Robert said to himself. A man coming out of the shop, he was carrying a basket of loaves. 
He called to his daughter in the shop. I won't be in. I won't be long, Hannah. Robert watched the baker walking down the lane.